Some friends went in a bus to the sports meet at Korikod. They started at 7 in the morning and reached there at 10, traveling 150 kilometers. Would the speed have been the same during the entire trip? Time taken for the traveling is 3 hours. The bus could not have the same speed in the whole journey. Maybe it is 40 in the first hour, 60 in the second hour, and 50 in the third hour. In such instances, we calculate the average speed. Here we know the distance traveled by the bus is 150 km and time is 3 hours. So, the average speed of the bus is 150 by 3 that is equal to 50 km per 1 hour. So, we can say that the average speed of the bus was 50 km per hour. So, average speed we can calculate by the formula speed is equal to distance by time. In short, we can say S is equal to D by T. So, if speed and time is given, how can we find out distance? Distance D is equal to S into T. If distance and speed is given, time T is equal to D by S. These all are the formulas connecting time, distance and speed. Commonly used units of speed is either kilometer per hour or meter per second. Sudhi travelled in a train covering 250 kilometers in 3 hours to reach Tiruvannapuram. Ramesh came in another train travelling 120 kilometers in 2 hours. Which train is faster? How much faster? A the train is faster and find out the So we want to find speed of each train. First we can find speed of the train where Sudhir travelled. You know speed is equal to distance by time. Now substituting we get 240 by 3. That is equal to 80. And what about the unit? Distance is in kilometer and time is in hour. So the unit is kilometer per hour. Now we can find speed of the train where Ramesh travelled. We know speed is equal to distance by time. So 120 by 2 is equal to 60 kilometers per hour. So which train is faster? The train Sudhir travelled is faster because the speed of that train was 80 km per hour. Also we want to find how much it is faster. For that we want to subtract 60 km per hour from 80 km per hour. So the answer is 20 km per hour. Next one. A train took 4 hours and 30 minutes to cover 360 km. What is its average speed? Here, distance is given and time is given. So we can easily find out its speed. Speed is equal to distance by time. But what about that time? Time It is in hours and also in minutes. 4 hours, 30 minutes. So we want to convert that 30 minutes to hours. So 30 minutes means how much hours? It is half, is it? So we can write T is equal to 4 and a half hours. 4 and a half means 9 by 2 hours. Substituting in the equation, what we get? Actually, there we can see time is in fraction. So we want to rewrite the equation like this. That is S is equal to for D we can give 360 and division we can write like this. So divided by 9 by 2. Okay. So next step what we can write 360 into we can write the reciprocal 2 by 9. 9 is going 40 times in 360. Then 40 into 2 is equal to 
1.8 kilometers per hour. The table below gives some details of Joy Strip. Fill in the missing entries. You can see the three vehicles are the train, car, aeroplane. So for the vehicle train, distance is not given, time and speed is given. And for the car, average speed want to find out. And for aeroplane, time want to find out. So these all are we can find out using the formulas that I already given you. So try to find out. Thank you.